Greetings, this is Chaplain Bob Walker. In, was, in ancient times, was there space flight, airplanes, helicopters? You know, there are artifacts that seems to indicate that some kind of ancient beings flew in times past. Now, the thing is, History Channel will say, oh, well, you know, those were ancient aliens. And, you know, the Christians say, well, you know, maybe it was uh, angels. Uh, I don't know. Let's take a look at some of the evidence that there was flight in ancient times. Do you know that the Bible mentions something about that? Turn to Deuteronomy chapter 30, and we'll read verse, uh, you know, a quick one minute. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice, according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. Listen carefully. Verse 4. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. Now, what does that mean, the outmost parts of heaven? Are they talking about space travel? Or are they talking about space flight? I, I don't know. Now, use this little uh, golden-looking thing was found in Colombia. And... From what I understand, it was taken into a museum, and it was found prior to the Wright brothers and their first flight. I'm having a hard time finding exactly when they discovered this little gold figure. But they found these little figurines that, to me, they look like an airplane. I mean, let's face it, you got wings and you got a rudder. And those of you that don't know what a rudder is, it's the tail on the on the very the rear. A rudder is on a fish. A rudder would be their tail. On an airplane, the rudder sticks straight up into the air. On a boat, the rudder would go down into the water behind the propellers, and it would be able. A rudder makes a vehicle go left or right. But, you know, they discovered this before they had airplanes. And it's sitting in a museum. And, you know, after the airplane was invented, and then somewhere between World War I and World War II, they went from the biplanes, which had, you know, two wings, to one wing. And somebody looked at this and said, my God, that looks like an airplane. Well, yeah, it does. And of course, people will deny it and say, no, that's, that couldn't possibly be an airplane. That's, that's just a depiction of a bird. Well, have you ever seen a bird with a delta wing? And no, I never have. I have never seen... A bird with a delta wing. And not only that, I've never seen a bird with a rudder. I mean, let's face it. There is a French jet called the Mirage. And if you ask me, it looks very, very similar to this figurine that they found in Colombia. In ancient, you know, the thing is, it's old. So what was, what did the artist depict what did he capture what is he trying to you know the things made out of gold i mean what was he copying 
was did the Bible, you know, that, that book of Deuteronomy is back in the days of Moses. I mean, you're talking way back. You're talking 4,500 years ago. And yet it mentions the Lord would gather thee from the outmost parts of the heaven. Really? Is that the sky or is it talking about space flight? I don't know. Now, you could look at these, uh, these other figurines. And then look at airplanes and look at birds. Now this gold thing, you know, people say it's a bird. Other people said, well, you know, that's a fish. But I've never seen a fish with uh, the Delta type wings like an airplane. I've, you know, even a flying fish. Well, maybe a flying fish. I don't know. But is this a flying fish? It looks to me it looks like a plane. It looks like a a jet or something, you know? Now, the uh, you're going to see the um, there's a what the hieroglyphs from Egypt and it shows what looks like a helicopter. Do you know helicopters? What is a helicopter-looking thing and a and a what looks like an aircraft doing on the wall of an ancient Egyptian temple? I mean, when you look at this, it's it it looks like a helicopter. Helicopters weren't re uh, invented until uh, towards the end of nineteen. 45, I believe it was, in World War II, when uh, Sikorsky invented his, uh, well, first operational helicopter. There were people that invented things sort of like a helicopter, but he had the first successful, commercially successful operational helicopter. Matter of fact, the Sikorsky company is still in business today. They're part of uh, Pratt Whitney United Technologies. But uh, there's a place in South America, I forget where, I think it's in Argentina, if I remember correctly. They have what's called the Nazca Lines, N A Z C A. And the thing is, their drawings on the ground that are very large. And when you look at them on the ground, they don't make any sense. It just looks like a, it looks like a fence made out of stones. Some of them. I don't, I don't know about all of them. But when you're, I mean, some of these things are, you know, over a thousand meters or a thousand yards long. Some of them are, are, I understand, go on for miles. And they don't look like anything on the ground. You would never know what the heck they are. But when somebody one day was up in an airplane and looked and said, wait a minute, that looks like a spider. Wait a minute, that looks like a monkey. That looks like a space alien. I mean, you know, they're just different, uh, different creatures. But when you're on the ground, you don't see what they are. So they're only visible from the air. You can only tell what they are from the air. So either uh, some kind of UFO alien came down and and drew it out and says, I want you guys to, you know, take these stones and, you know, cover this area and build this for me. So what? So he can go up in the air and look at it and say, wow, yeah, look, it's a monkey. It's a spider. You know, I mean, who built these things and why? And you can only, they're only visible from the air. So who, who mapped these things out for them to, to create? I don't know. You know, one's a bird, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you're going when you go through the slideshow, you can see, you know, what uh, 
what they are. But, you know, the thing is, somebody have had to have done this. Is it possible that there was flight back in the Old Testament days, perhaps before the flood? I don't know. Did ancient aliens or fallen angels, as I like to think of them as, uh, have airplanes or jets or helicopters? I mean, I don't know. But it, it sure, you know, you look at the Egyptian hieroglyphs and you look at these little, those little figurines found in Colombia, they sure look like aircraft to me. I don't know what else they are, but uh, that's what they look like to me. So, I mean, somebody had to have made those things. I mean, people don't just make figurines for nothing. I mean, you know, they, they had to have had a model or something. So, I don't know. But it, it, seems, it seems strange that the Bible would mention fetching you from the outermost parts of heaven. And that doesn't necessarily mean space flight. It could mean, you know, air, you know, flight in the air, you know, like in an airplane. But I don't know. But it possibly could mean somebody would doing space flight. I don't know. You know, it's interesting, but uh, it's not a big salvational thing, you know. But it's just kind of interesting that uh, they're always trying to convince us that ancient man was primitive. Well, and that we're getting smarter every year. We just, you know, gain more knowledge and we're getting smarter and better. That's the evolutionary theory, right? Uh, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I mean, I look at some of the... Uh, Pyramids and what have you on this planet, and <laughs> those people were not primitive. I mean, that is some incredible architecture and building. I'm not even sure we could build a uh, one of those the largest Egyptian pyramid today. I'm not. I'm not even sure we could do that. So, all right. Well, I hope you uh, enjoy this. And uh, I mean, let's face it, people. I don't think. Uh, I don't think ancient man was as as primitive as they want us to believe. I really don't. So, all right, well, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to Jesus, the Lamb of God, slain before the foundation of the world in his precious name. Amen.